Special teams and linebackers coach Tom Allen began his coaching career in the high school ranks. But after a chance meeting with then Ole Miss assistant Hugh Freeze, Allen's career would change forever. You know, I went to college to actually to major in accounting and uh, kind of thought that's what I wanted to do. But, you know, the, the good Lord kind of got a hold of my heart about doing something that was um, more for impact and more for uh, the opportunity to, to make a difference rather than just make money. And uh, seeing what my dad was able to do throughout his career and the impact he made in the lives of his players was, was pretty powerful. Well, first, he, he's a tremendous man. Um, you know, and again, we, we talk about surrounding ourselves with people that are like-minded. He's been with me for a long time. Walked in one day to my office and we'd never met before. I'd never knew who he was or, you know, being from a different part of the country. And uh, we just kind of hit it off, you know, a lot of similarities. He took a chance and came with me to Lambeth University uh, and moved his family there. And uh, he just remained as faithful as, as he could be to the, to the to the process that we had going there. In, in college coaching, different than high school, you're really tied into the head coach. And, and obviously, you know, the decisions he makes and, and where he goes and affects you tremendously. So it's real important that you get with the right guy. When you talk about somebody that you want mentoring your son in a position room that you spend an enormous amount of time with, he's that type of guy. And uh, the qualities that he's gonna represent are qualities that you would hope that your son would have when he becomes a man. Fly down there, make a big play, celebrate with your teammates, but have fun, man. This is a game meant to be fun, and you play it a whole lot better when you're having a blast out there. If you, if you watch the sidelines during the game, if a big play happens, everybody just, uh, as a staff, everybody just looks for Coach Allen, because there's no telling. He may jump on you, he may run you over, you know, he's just, uh, he just goes 100 miles an hour all the time. One of his guys make a play, and it could be on the far side of the field. He's coming, flying over there, jumping up, trying to high-five him. Nice job, fellas. Nice job, fellas. That's the way to execute, babe. Hey, that's a good job by you two guys. Nice job, eyes, and break. Good. Excellent. Love it. That's what we got to have right there. That's what it's going to take, baby. That's what it's going to take. Nice job, Berg. That's a great angle right there, man. Love it. Well done. That energy, you know, it keeps you going because it's, it's almost a motivation when you don't feel like practicing, when you don't feel like going out in the hot sun, you don't feel like lifting and watching film. When he's out there coaching, giving his speeches, I don't even think you have to listen to what he's saying. You can just see it. You can feel his energy from him. We got 30 minutes to find a way to win this game. Let's find a way, baby. That's who we are. We never quit. We say it all the time. Well, now you got a chance to live it out. He's a good football coach. and. Um, more so than that, he's a, a great Christian man, and, and we're uh, blessed to have him uh, as a part of uh, part of the staff. He's one of the best men I, men I've ever been around. Uh, just spiritually and, and socially, uh, I've learned a lot from him. You just absolutely get water in there. You keep competing. You played your tail off, kid. You got to finish now. There's nothing fake about it. He's not planning it. He's not coming up saying, "Oh, tomorrow I'm going to say rah rah." No, that's those are spur of the moment. Like, like that's him. Anytime you're honest with these kids and you, you display that passion and you're consistent with it, that that helps. You know, I'm a high intensity guy and I love to coach with passion and energy. Um, but it's got to be more than that. It's got to be deeper than that. And when it is, it, it's powerful and it's motivating and it's uh, it lasts. Hey, I believe in you. Yes, sir. I do. Yes, sir. I want to put you in here for this. Ooh. Thought you've been working out. You are no Hey, uh, Chris, it's a big week for you. We need you to step up. We can get a lot of a lot of quality reps out of you this week, all right? This game's tailor-made for you, all right? Run and hit, baby. Run and hit. It's more the football to just him. You know, he want to make sure, you know, you're doing good in class and school and as a man and as a human being in society. You know, just being able to help them um, is huge for me. And when you get to that position, those kids, they play so hard for you because they know that you care about it way more than just a game. These moments are why you came to Ole Miss. You understand me? You gotta believe you've earned the right. You gotta believe you're worthy. Football is a, it's a physical game, it's an emotional game. Um, it, it's a game that's meant to be played with both of those qualities at the forefront. And uh, it just kind of matches my personality, you know? And so I think that I was born to be a football coach and that's what, uh, that's what I'm here to do.